Good morning guys, welcome back, hope everyone is doing good, it's your friend here with another new informations on gaming sequel, this time it's none other but, GTA 6, after its leak, all information is compiled here, let's jump in, GTA 6 has got to be one of the most highly anticipated games in all of gaming, largely due to just how massive its predecessor is, even to this day, saying it has big shoes to fill would be an understatement, and that's before we factor in how many years have passed, since we got a mainline GTA game, Rockstar announced GTA 6 in early 2022, with little more than the news that the game was indeed in active development. While this came as no surprise, it was the first official news on GTA 6 that had been revealed at the time. Shortly after this, Rockstar suffered a massive leak, which led to several videos being released on the internet, showing a development build of GTA 6. Despite the huge amount of information on GTA 6 found in the leaks, what the game actually ends up being remains to be seen. There's still a fair bit of mystery here, including a possible 2024 release date, and the question of who the protagonist will be. While Rockstar Games has finally announced it's working on GTA 6, it has said nothing of when the game will release, let alone confirm a release date. According to a recent report by Bloomberg, current and former Rockstar staff reckon GTA 6 is still at least two years away from release, suggesting a 2024 launch. What's more, in a press release detailing Take-Two Interactive's deal to buy mobile game company Zynga, a section on strategic rationale and stockholder value creation, contained a note stating that, looking ahead, the combined company is expected to deliver a 14% compound annual growth rate over the three-year period, from Take-Two's fiscal years 2021 through 2024. In response to that, an analyst from investment banking firm Jefferies, quoted by Axios' Stephen Tatilo on Twitter said, There are only a handful of titles that can provide management with the confidence to put out such a strong guidance. We believe there is at least one Rockstar IP set to be released by fiscal year 24. This 2024 spike almost lines up with leaker Tom Henderson's GTA 6 release date prediction. The notable leaker, who is primarily known for his, mostly, accurate previews of Battlefield and Call of Duty, posted a video sharing a bunch of alleged GTA 6 details. In it, Henderson predicts GTA 6 isn't going to release until between 2024 and 2025, based on his sources. Henderson's prediction has since been corroborated by Bloomberg reporter Jason Schreier. His report earlier this year confirmed that Rockstar has been making efforts to overhaul its workplace culture, and previously said on Twitter, that Henderson's claims, match up with what I've heard. A release sometime in 2024 looks like a pretty safe bet, then, but one leaker claims this could be wishful thinking. Creator of Rockstar, Mag Chris Klippel, who has accurately leaked Rockstar game news before, claims that while the developer has reached an important working milestone, he doesn't expect Grand Theft Auto to release before the end of 2024. I think that a real announcement at the end of the year may be possible, Clipple tweeted. In any case, I don't see the game arriving before the end of 2024. So, maybe the 2025 side of that 2024 to 2025 estimate is more likely. Unfortunately, Rockstar Games didn't share a trailer for GTA 6 alongside its announcement, suggesting that the developer is approaching its reveal of GTA 6 differently than its previous titles. With both GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games teased an announcement a few days before dropping the first trailer for either game. But this time Rockstar didn't tease an announcement at all, nor did it announce the game with a trailer. Instead it simply included the announcement as part of a community post making it difficult to predict whether there will be a trailer sometime soon. It's worth noting that we saw gameplay footage from an early build leak in September, though this isn't representative of what'll be the final product. Either way, if there's a GTA 6 trailer, you'll know about it because the internet will explode, and will let you know too, of course. Seeing as Rockstar has yet to release any official details on gameplay, we have very little to go off of currently. According to the leaked early development footage we saw this year, it does seem that Rockstar is trying out some new mechanics for GTA 6. There seems to be a focus on robbery and heists, with some new stealth mechanics thrown in for good measure. From the footage that leaked, now deleted, things look very similar to GTA 5, but with some additional and updated aspects like being able to go prone. Of course, this was all clearly early development, so there's no saying what the GTA 6 gameplay will end up being like. Rockstar Games hasn't confirmed where GTA 6 will take us but there's a plethora of rumors floating around, suggesting a variety of settings for the game. Although every online titbit and juicy gossip morsel looks tantalizing, a few hold more water than others. It's looking most likely that GTA 6 will be set in Vice City, Rockstar's fictional version of Miami. The aforementioned Bloomberg report claims a source close to the matter, suggests Vice City will appear in GTA 6 
Although Rockstar's original plans were apparently more ambitious, that's backed up by the leaked gameplay footage, one of which showed a Vice City Metro train. Bloomberg's report claims that, at the beginning of development, GTA 6 encompassed huge areas, modeled after both North and South America. That scope was apparently cut back, however, to focus on Vice City and its surrounding area. Though the game's world remains large, with more interior locations than previous GTA games. But the map won't remain static, according to the report. Rockstar plans to update GTA 6, with more cities and interior locations after release, with these updates set to be substantially larger than those GTA 5 has received. The idea is to give developers more breathing room to create the game's expansive map and cut down on stressful overtime during development. It also means you'll have new areas to explore after the game hits shelves. According to Bloomberg, Rockstar plans to add new missions and cities to the game on a regular basis, giving us new areas to explore, while hopefully cutting crunch at the studio. Leaker Tom Henderson has similarly claimed that while Vice City will be coming to GTA 6 in some capacity, the game's map isn't as big as previous rumors suggested. In addition, Henderson claims that GTA 6 won't be set be in the 80s or 90s but instead will have a modern setting. This is apparently to allow the base game to fit with GTA Online, with developers wanting as much freedom as possible to release as many DLCs as possible. But it's not just GTA 6 that Henderson shared details on. The leaker claims that GTA Online, accompanying GTA 6's release, will feature an evolving map that could change each time a new GTA 6 DLC is released. Henderson compared this map to that of Fortnite's, and also claimed that GTA 6's release, We'll see additions made to the default GTA Online map, including new areas, and an expansion to the map. It's worth noting that Henderson did caveat that he is not known for GTA 6 leaks, and that viewers should take these rumors with a grain of salt, as his sources may be less reliable than those of his Call of Duty and Battlefield leaks. Given how it appears in the leak build, we think a return to Vice City in some form is now guaranteed, which would tie into the rumors mentioned, but outside of that, We've yet to get an official confirmation of GTA 6's setting from Rockstar itself. Rockstar and publisher Take-Two are currently clearing up the recent GTA 6 leak, but fans are attempting to use some of the leaked footage to piece together what the game's open world might look like. Using the leaked gameplay footage, which apparently had visible in-game coordinates, Kotaku reports that fans on the GTA forums are working together to construct a map with location placements. Having to avoid the actual leaked images and footage, the fans are using tools like Google Earth and Microsoft Paint in the project. Of course, given everything in the leak is subject to change, the project is very much speculative, and it'll be a while before we get a look at the true GTA 6 map for ourselves. Rockstar Games has formally confirmed that GTA 6 leak is real, releasing a statement via Twitter. The team advised this included early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. While they don't comment on particular details spotted in the leak, the team says it's extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared this way. Crucially, Rockstar's statement advises that this shouldn't cause any delays, stating, We do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. Promising an official update to this next game when it is ready, GTA 6 has just seen what's easily one of of the biggest leaks in gaming history, rivaling Half-Life 2's pre-release leak in 2003. Roughly 90 videos were posted onto the official GTA forums by a poster named Tipo Tuber Hacker, containing gameplay footage that's early in development. Since going live, Rockstar and Take-Two have since removed these through copyright strikes. Updating their original post, now deleted, Tipo Tuber Hacker claimed he's looking to make a deal with Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive, issuing this statement. Okay, so this has gone unexpectedly viral. Woke up to 3,000 Telegram DMs. GTA 6 could feature single-player DLC, according to a recent report from known leaker Tez2. Writing on the GTA forums, Tez2 touched on recent reports on how the game could expand over time, claiming that Rockstar will go back to how they were planning future content before GTA Online success boomed. This Tez2 says means that Rockstar will plan the first new cities and missions that will be added as DLC prior to the release of GTA 6. This is apparently to allocate resources towards whatever new title they will work on after GTA 6 release. As for the cities that will be part of this DLC, according to Tez2, they will be new cities or islands, like Ko Perico or North Yankton style. That way, Rockstar can introduce a new heist for the next GTA Online mode with each new DLC. If we are lucky, 
we could receive a fully fledged new city from time to time. This would, as Tez2 notes, be a shift after Rockstar revealed to Game Informer in 2017 that it moved away from plans to bring DLC to GTA 5's single player back in 2015 in favor of expanding GTA Online and working on Red Dead Redemption 2.